I've been playing Tower of Fantasy for about a week now. Wanted to do a little progress update, some things I've learned, some little tips and tricks. Over the last week, I've been doing some pretty sporadic summons here and there. Want to do a little gotcha summary history because summons are fun. As always, if you want to skip to certain sections, the timestamps are built into the video and in the description. We're actually starting with uh, these 35 matrix chips we have on the standard matrix banner. Uh, we didn't get anything on the first tin pull, but the second tin pull, we did get a Huma blank slate. And the third tin pull got us nothing. After that, we went ahead and did those five singles we had left and a couple more just to reach pity to see what we get there. And it was a king. I did decide I want some of the exclusive chips as well, so we did some summons there. I didn't really have any of the special vouchers, so I just used crystals. We were already at 20 out of 40 pity, but on the very next summon, we did get an SSR, which was cool. Was it Nemesis, however? Indeed it was. Just kidding. And then one more tin pull for our pity. And that finally was our very first Nemesis. Doing a few random gold nuclei summons here. We didn't get anything of note. If you happen to watch my initial Nemesis summons, you'll know we only did two tin pulls on her banner and got Nemesis on the second one. But I decided to use some more of these red nuclei. And on our very next tin pull, we got another Nemesis. In fact, she was the first one to pop up. So that was really awesome. We did a couple more, didn't get anything of note. I mainly did those summons for the 50 black gold here. Once you do 50 summons, you have enough to buy a Nemesis Matrix box where you can choose whatever you want to out of it. There is a limit of one, so once we buy one, that is it. In hindsight, I shouldn't have used this until we had three pieces, but at this point, I wasn't thinking about going for four piece because that's pretty hard to get. But I went ahead and chose Alloy Cells because this is the Thoughts piece, which has Crit on it, and Crit is very hard to get. So since I hadn't had it yet, and I was mainly just focused on the two piece at this point, uh, went ahead and got thoughts for that crit boost. And it was a day or two later I thought, well, the four piece actually sounds quite good uh, compared to just the two piece. So I went ahead and tried again. I didn't have any special chips, so I just had to use dark crystals. First tin pull, second tin pull, third tin pull, all nothing. Then we were at 31 pity, so I just did nine singles. And sadly, it wasn't until hard pity where we eventually got an SSR, but that was sword fight simulation, Meryl, not what we were going for. At this point, we did have enough red chips to just buy one, but this would only be a three piece set. So I didn't bother doing that until we already had a three piece so we could finish it here by choosing one. I still had some black crystals left, so I thought, forget it, let's keep going. Hope to get lucky. We did get an SSR in our very first pull, but unfortunately still not Nemesis. Nothing for the next pull and then the pull after that. We already had to start dipping into our Tanium, so I just kind of backed out of there for now. We spent the last 30 red nuclei we had. First 10 pull, nothing. Second tin pull, nothing. And then the third tin pull was our pity, of course. And we got another Meryl, so that makes one star Meryl. A little bit later, I had enough black crystals to do another tin pull on the Matrix. Sadly, still nothing there, but we were only one tin pull away now. So I decided to forget it. I just dropped 1200 Tanium on this, which there's a lot of good stuff to buy with Tanium, so I kind of regret this a bit, but I decided to forget it. We are so close, and I just prayed this was Nemesis. And in fact, it was. But was it a duplicate? I wasn't sure at this point. I hadn't remembered which exact pieces I had gotten and what the difference was. But thankfully, I got lucky. It was one of the two I was missing. So then I could finally just spin those 80 red tokens up there for the final one, Teddy Bear. And we got our four piece set. That's essentially where the summons ended. I've been saving my summons for a couple days so we can do like a live summon session at the end of the video. But yeah, progress update. Starting with the basics, we are level 38 down there. That is the current level cap. Uh, the first day that it's only gone up two levels. Uh, every day since it launched, the level cap has raised three levels, and we've mostly been able to keep up, though it has been getting a little harder as we've been uh, crawling into the mid-30s. I've been taking the uh, main story a little bit slowly so that I'm not wasting XP, because once you get to the level cap and then fill up that XP bar down there, Every point of XP you get after that is just wasted. So main quest has been kind of last priority, making sure I've done my daily bounties and using my uh, vitality it's called here before I really continue on with the main quest. Uh, I didn't really do that today because I thought the level cap was 39 and I was like, okay, well, I still have some room to do main quest. Turns out it's 38 today. Uh, we are currently 13.1 thousand CS. I think that is a decently high CS for a week, but yeah, it should be obvious, but we're not uh, really free to play. So, so especially if you are, try not to compare. 
Um, equipment, I'm still a little bit confused on, kind of, mainly like where to get it, but I guess we just need to level up further. I think the main source of equipment is going to be joint operation, but I wouldn't recommend doing this very often until level 50. There you can start getting legendary equipment. For now, I'm almost only using my vitality in, in this stuff here for weapon and chip upgrades. I made a bit of progress in Bygone Phantasm. I haven't done it this week yet, but last week, uh, I made it up to 40. I could have sworn it was like 42. Uh, but whatever someone else was at 44 now of course the level has gone up quite a bit because you know we have more power at this point so I'm gonna see how far I can get this week um, but yeah you know little weekly rewards I do like that you're not competing with the entire server just apparently 97 now it was 100 last time but so if you're lucky there won't be a bunch of whales in yours Apex League, uh, Tower of Fantasies PvP. I did play here a little bit, not much. I'm only elite rank two. I do have a pretty high win rate. I'm pretty sure the first three are like bots because they were nearly one-shotted. It is also apparently balanced. I'm not sure exactly how balanced. I would assume whales still have some sort of advantage, but I don't know. I can't really say. It's just really laggy and you can't see a lot of what the enemy is doing because some things are just invisible. Uh, so it's not really a great thing. I'm probably going to have one session per week where I just try and go up a little bit, but I'm definitely not stressing out about that. Void Rifts, I haven't done yet. Uh, it, it unlocked for the server yesterday. I didn't want to do it yesterday because the boss had a 50% volt uh, resistance. My main source of damage is from Volt. In terms of exploration, I haven't really been exploring very much, nor have I touched an interactive map. We have 60% in Astra, the very first starting location. Most of the time, I'm just doing main quests or side quests and picking up the chests or whatever when I come across them. I really love that it shows the items you can get on the mini map up there. It doesn't necessarily need to show the ones that are still time locked, but uh, whatever, I guess. How are we doing on our battle? Battle pass here we're at 82 that's probably going to be pretty similar across the board as long as you're doing your uh, weekly quests newcomer event we're at 11 15 I did want to talk about the SSR box because I don't think I recorded that but yeah from the SSR box I chose uh, Samir the dual EM stars previously I was using crow or Thunderblades, but uh, dual EM stars is just so much better at zero star I think crow really picks up at three and six so you know for now at least I thought that was the best option. King was a strong consideration from the SSR box as well. And if you don't have a good shatter weapon like Rosy Edge, even though I already had a one star Rosy Edge, I was still very tempted to go King. I don't have any SSR fire weapons. So I'm, I just have to use the compost bow. I know it's called composite, but it's trash. So, cause like all of the open world stuff needs needs to interact with pyro in some way so yeah it's just kind of annoying but ultimately i did decide on samir because i really really like rosy edge its ability is so cool so strong it's charged attack beyblade actually strong in tower of fantasy the beyblade <laughs> and since you really only want one shatter weapon in your team anyway you know king would have to replace rosy edge and i was like whatever let's just go dual em stars which of course having you know volt as your main source of damage has its downsides for some reason, I feel like a lot of stuff has Volt Resistance, but maybe that'll change at one point. In terms of Matrixes, I am mostly just focused on the pure stat aspects. I'm not really going for sets at the moment, um, mostly because I can't really make any. Probably at this point, I could make some purple sets, but considering I have SSRs in nearly every slot, it almost doesn't make sense to raise more purples when probably somewhat soon I, I can start making two and even four piece SSR sets. So I figure I'm just going to save my resources and raise the SSRs and just have them for stats for now. Oh yeah, the four piece Nemesis set is essentially an extra attack every 10 seconds of 240% of attack. Sounds really good to me. 240% seems like a pretty solid multiplier just for like a passive thing there. Uh, you have to heal yourself or your electrode. So I figure more or less every 10 seconds we're going to get this uh, extra attack in there. But yeah, besides that, it seems like we got one of every SSR, we can't make a single other two-piece set with anything besides Nemesis. Oh yeah, I wanted to pick up the last one of these. You can buy three of these per week. I just kind of have a thing for Matrixes, I guess. I prefer those over extra stars on the weapon. That's not necessarily advice or anything. I just like messing with the little equipable things. I am quite sure Matrixes do come second to weapons in terms of importance. Oh, we got a Dream Machine. I love these things so much. I hate some of them, but once we started randomly getting Dream Machines after opening chests, it's just like so much more fun to open chests because it's like, mm, maybe I'll get a dream machine. The rewards in here are usually pretty good. Um, the mini games are sometimes, all right, this is a pretty normal mini game. We essentially just have to survive. Uh, here's this rosy edge 
attack. So good for AoE situations as well. Also, I should mention that 90% of my playing is actually done on a phone uh, because I just like the mobile aspect of it. I do move around at least my house a lot. So I'm actually having a bit of a hard time here because I don't have a ton of experience uh, using the controls on keyboard. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't want to give up Rosie Edge, dude. I love that. I love that skill so much, dude. That was definitely a little closer than it usually is here, but I think we should be able to get those 70 kills. Yeah. I am glad the best reward is just for completing the dream. Uh, and then you get the bonus rewards based on how well you complete it. Over here in the Wonders log, I think we've done almost everything. Uh, we need to own nine SR relics. We're one away from there. Advanced three weapons to three stars. We probably could just force that. Maintain two vehicles level 10. I'm pretty close on the motorcycle, but the uh, cube is pretty hard. Oh yeah, guild update. There's actually not too much to say about the uh, crew, but we've been doing pretty well, I think. Uh, as far as I checked, we were rank uh, two. Yeah, we are still rank two. Kingdom of Gods is kind of... Uh, sweaty as hell. We are so close to getting to level 3 though. We're at 89.7k uh, fund and we need 91.7. Um, you have to upgrade treasury and store before you can upgrade base. So I was going to ignore store for now and just go to level 3 as fast as possible, but that doesn't work unfortunately. But dude, we're so close. As a matter of fact, I think what I want to do right now is try and do my first Void Rift because that is a weekly challenge I've had since the beginning. Um, the week already reset, but the, that is still there apparently. And this should get us a little bit. So um, I'm just going to hit go, I guess. Let's give it a try here. We got to kill Robarg. Oh, that's not good. Unstable energy. I'm not sure what we need that for. Defeat the Infernal Steel Lizard and retrieve three keys. I don't know. I'm just going to follow my teammates for now. All keys collected. Tap to challenge. So apparently there are buffs. Are the other teammates already in there? Do we have to go? Uh, okay. I guess I'm going to the boss now. This is so confusing. Okay, yeah, these guys are here all already fighting it. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I guess we got through it. But I mainly did that so I could submit this and get us ever so closer. Play Bygone Phantasm once. Let's accept that. All right, we can do that real quick. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I think we could progress quite a bit here, but there's no time for that. Submit. Someone just logged on. There's an extra hundred. Okay, I guess I got some stuff for the cube because now we have two at 10. Can get a bit more for the pass now, up to 88. And yeah, gear. Basically what I've been doing with gear is just mainly raising it equally with, with a priority on the offensive stuff, just because that's how I am with every game more offense the better so anything with attack and especially this thing with crit here it's currently maxed until level 40 so i'm just been kind of raising everything else with enhance you can do this like regardless if the actual piece of gear is good or not feel free to do it because enhancement carries over when you swap out gear advancement on the other hand you should only do when the piece of gear is actually good i'm probably going to mostly save advancement for when i have at least purple. I've also been buying Vitality Solutions every day. It is similar to Genshin, uh, except when you spin Dark Crystals on that, you actually get an item that you can use whenever you want to. So I'm kind of just stockpiling those until we're higher level and can get better stuff for our Vitality. Obviously can't recommend something like that for free to play. Um, I've mostly been buying two per day. I bought one today. I'm going to go ahead and get the other one, I guess. But then after that, it becomes 200 each for the next two. You can buy up to four. I usually buy two for 150. Buying the first one for 50, if you're at least a low spender, probably wouldn't be horrible. Vitality here refreshes about as slow as Genshin's resin. So stockpiling for like level 50 or 60. Joint operation takes 90, dude. I mean, it's 30 per box you open, but it's essentially one run through and there are three chests, each costing 30. Always remember to eat your mighty mushrooms whenever you have them. That'll increase your stamina. Endurance in this game, whatever. Oh, dude, I think we can do it. Hold on. Upgrade. Level three, let's go. We're number one. Literally, the only thing to do with guild right now is to do your weekly tasks and donate daily. But I guess I have been quite strict you know, inactive people, because we have so many requests. These are just from like this morning. Speaking of which, we can go ahead and accept people. Next upgrade will take 167K. I guess miscellaneous things, V4.2 suppressor. I think we'll need 5.1 to enter some weird area at one point. I'm not sure. I heard something about that. Achievements, again, I haven't been doing stuff like this. Not really achievement hunting. We're at 767, which I'm 
according to a lot of my guild is like basically nothing because they're all at like 1250 1500 but yeah i'm not specifically going for achievements just picking them up when i get them story mode there is still this side quest i have yet to do i never got around to it i guess meryl nemesis samir that's my sort of team nemesis is my healer as well as uh, volt resonance as far as i know this is the only weapon in the game currently that has resonance increase volt attack by 15 percent volt resistance by 25 percent and this is activated by equipping two or more volt weapons which is why we have samir which acts as my dps weapon and then we have rosy edge here which also acts as my dps weapon it it i, I feel like it does a lot of damage um but it, it is essentially meant to shatter shields i don't really know if there's anything to talk about in terms of progress so let's go ahead and do a few summons here we got 36 gold nucleus 45 matrix chips i have not gotten a single ssr from the the black nuclei yet i guess i've done around 300 summons here because you get them pretty much everywhere and again i haven't explored that much but enough to have gotten a lot of these um bones has gotten way less than i have but she has already gotten two ssrs from this of course because it's bones let's start with these uh tin here i doubt we're gonna get anything again but whatever let's give it a try not even an sr there okay we got pummeler there and here also nothing yeah gold nuclei though can pity hopefully we get an ssr before that i want to view my records real quick because i forgot if i actually got nope absolute zero was 46 summons ago so it would be nice if we get another ssr before the pity I can't really complain though because I had super good luck with the uh nope nothing there super good luck with the exclusive banner so yeah next order 10 it is nothing unfortunately let's go, just go ahead and skip and the last order 10 we can do come on did it did, did, did. come up please nope all right yeah not the best luck ever uh, well, I'll just do those uh six singles then real quick and we'll see what we get we can skip these more or less would be insane if we did get an ssr in the next like two pulls because oh oh just an sr em blade okay so this should be the ssr now even though i know it's gonna go gold may as well just get to see that cool little summon animation da -da. It's gonna be rosy edge I, I i have a feeling i knew it dude i really like this weapon but i don't really feel like I want stars on it, to be honest, uh, because especially two star is going to be just HP increase. I don't care about that. I want damage. Let's get these last two summons out of the way, I guess. Combat blade and combat blade. I mean, we may as well, I guess. We have more HP now. Cool, I suppose. Three stars does sound pretty interesting, though. Gain an ice shield equal to 10% of max HP. The ice shield lasts up to 10 seconds. And then five stars increase damage and shatter by 50% while the shield is active. Five stars sounds insane. We do have 170 black gold, so we could get like the third star for Rosy Edge, but but I'm really not sure yet. I might go for dual EM stars. Feel free to leave your suggestions. I'm probably not going to do anything for now, though. But anyway, we also have 45 chips here. We should be getting at least one SSR, uh, hopefully multiple. I, I would like that. Maybe we can make some two sets then. First pull here. Uh, just a purple, unfortunately. A single purple. Next order, tin. Da-da! Nothing. And it's just another single SR. Guaranteed to get an SSR this time. It could be a double SSR. That would be nice. One of the eight before the pity, maybe, if we're super lucky. Oh, wait. That was before pity. That was only number two. And that, that was king. We have a king. We can make a two set somewhere. And that was a mind as well, which has the crit on it so that's super cool we should be getting another ssr here i think that's how it works anyway we'll see though for sure oh yeah here we go samir we can make another two-piece set we have just kidding and now we have a different samir we also have samir's weapon so i imagine it would fit well with that poggers poggers look at that double ssr uh, Samir was the pity SSR, but still. Cool. We should be able to do uh, one more tin pull here. Come on. You can give us another one. Nope. The chance for SSR chips, I believe, are double that of weapons. Let's do these five singles real quick, though. Nothing. Nothing. Nope. And last one here. Nope. Well, I'm happy enough to get a non-pity SSR. We do have three singles in each of these, but... All right. Let's just do them real quick. Oh. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> Damn, it always it always tricks me. Nothing with the red nuclei and nothing with the uh, red chips either. All out of summons, but we did get a couple interesting matrixes. So we could have a two-piece king set. When a target is shattered, grant 8% damage boost. That sounds good for my rosy edge. Of course, it'd be good on king too, but uh, rosy edge already has one piece there, so... May as well go ahead and affix that in the other slot, which is actually perfect because it's going to replace the other Samir I have and we can make a two-piece Samir set as well. So let's switch that. Develop it as much as we can here. 35. But yeah, unfortunately, this piece is going to be kind of useless for a while since we have enough SSR mind chips already. More than enough. 1% damage increase per hit and this hits so fast, so it is basically the only weapon that it's going to be really useful on. So let's go ahead and switch over to that. Here's the other Samir. Okay, cool. So we can replace a purple with an SSR there, if we have enough chips at least. Ooh, we just broke 14k CS. Nice. <laughs> okay, yeah. And then the 4P set is increased dual EM stars electrical explosion damage. So yeah, this set literally can't be used with anything else. I mean, it could, but it won't be good. But yeah, nice. You have a couple two-piece sets now. I'm not sure what to make of the stat page. Um, mostly the crit stuff. Like we have 1280 flat crit, which means you have a 16.7% chance to crit when attacking a same level opponent. But then it says here we have a 0% chance to crit and 50% crit damage. But yeah, I guess that's it. My one week progress. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Dropping a like or subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks. As always for watching and until next time.